Hey guys, Mohan Pover here and today I'm going to show you how to create unfair advantage in your business. Let's get to it. So hey, if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about me and sharing and documenting my journey in business. I'm basically here to show you that there are two ways to grow a business. One of them is organically by doing more sales and marketing and basically implementing everything and being the best that you can doing everything inside the business. And then there's another way where you can become an owner investor or owner shareholder, which is it by buying other businesses. And I'm here to show you that it's basically going to cost you the same amount of money to grow your business internally versus it is to basically grow your business by acquisition. So this is what this channel is all about. See the links in the description below where you can send me your personalized questions. And based on that, I'm creating this, those videos and I'm not going to use your name, so don't worry about it. But this is what this channel is all about. And also see the links in the description below where you can join our groups on Facebook. Um, great groups with great interactions. So do that right now if you didn't yet. Um, that's it. Let's let's get that's an introduction. Let's get to today's topic. So there are a few ways to create unfair advantage in business, and those are the things in my opinion. So one of them is your experience. The second thing is your skills. The other thing is your knowledge. The other thing is your character, and there's their your connection. So I just want to expand those on those a little bit and show how they can create an unfair advantage in your business. So let's start with your experience and everyone have a different experience. So I want you to literally just go ahead right now and write what experience do you have in business. Go and do that right now and literally write it down. I've done this, I've done that and write it down. And just it's sometimes really important to just put a mirror in front of you because sometimes you underestimate what you can personally be or did in yourself or what connections you have. So write down what experience do you have. The second thing is your skills. So write them down as well. What skills do you have? What skills took you time to develop? Maybe you did this or that, or you have a degree or you worked here for many years. Write it down. It's really, really important that you put those things in front of you and are aware of what skills you have. Then there's your talent. Your talent is different from your skills because your talent is something that you're just naturally really good at. Some people are just really good with other people. Some people are just really good with technical things. So write down what are you, you think, do you have like a natural talent that you're like, since you, from the moment you were born, everyone is telling you, hey, you're really good at this. Write it down. Then the next thing is about your knowledge. Knowledge are things that you learn from books or seminars, or maybe you have some kind of a hobby. Write those things down as well. What kind of things did you learn and have a lot of knowledge about? Now there's also your character. Your character is basically what you've been through in life, what challenges did you have, the ups and downs, everything that you've been through that are making you unique and can really make you uh, a, a something that is different in the, I guess, in the space of business based compared to you to everyone else. And many times th those ups and downs are what can really create connections with others when you can share things that you've been through. And many times those things can really be related to others. Now then you want to write down your connections. So your connections are obviously everyone you know, your peer groups, your people that you've been through and have done things in life and everyone got, that's, that's what really is beautiful in special businesses is that everyone got different connections that eventually lead him to different, to doing different things in life. So just write down what kind of connections do you have. If it's in a specific sector or the specific people that you know, write it down, have it in front of you, have a mirror in front of you and understand what you are at. And all those things that I just mentioned, all of those are your unfair advantage compared to you, to everyone else in the business world. And unless you're using those things in your business every day, you're missing on huge opportunities because, and, and you know what's funny is many people that talk to me, they're literally afraid of those things. It's like they're trying to hide it instead of putting it out there. Like for me personally, I have the accent. I'm, I'm, I'm not a US citizen or a UK citizen. I'm, I'm Israeli, basically. Although we are doing deals mostly in the UK and the US. I'm even, I remember when I started with those things with videos and stuff, I was like, ah, I'm not sure people are going to like it, the accent and all that shit. But then I realized that's my uniqueness. And that's what making me different from everyone else. And that's why people can relate to me. Maybe someone else out there is looking at me and it's like, if this guy, if this fucker can do it with this weird accent, why can't I do it? And that's why I'm trying to put this out there. I'm here to show you that whatever you have that you think is um, maybe weird about you, you want to literally transform it into something that is your power and strength, if that makes sense. Because that's what makes you unique in this world. You don't want to be a copy of someone else. You want to be you 
out there like like 10 times more if that makes sense I hope, I, I hope you understand it all and all those things that I just mentioned before those are things you want to constantly think about and constantly put out there in your business if it's in your marketing work if it's in your sales like don't be afraid to show those things out because that's what making you unique and transparent and honest and when you are trying to to uh, I guess hide those things that's going to make you look uh, uh, someone who is not um, who's just not honest if that makes sense whenever I see someone who's trying to hide something you feel like he's trying to hide something from you but many times just their uncertainty about themselves that they're doing and I'm here to tell you hey put it out there whatever you feel uncertain about this is what you should, should probably um, show the most to others and I hope, I hope that makes sense it's a bit weird concept for me to, to explain but I think it's really really important in the space of businesses and now there are there is the thought of okay now that you have those what's next and I'm here to show you that yes you can continue to grow your personality and all those traits organically or you can go and buy a business and that business got a manager with his unfair advantage and you can immediately tap into those things like just think about all the practices we just did about you finding what's unique about you and compare that to you also tapping into another business and getting access to that that's there's nothing can compare to it like yes you can continue to grow yourself or you can continue or go out there and buy a business with all those different talents who have their unfair advantage and you can tap into those uh, I guess resources right away so if you want to explore how to do that and you want to explore how to grow by acquisitions go to moanpubert.com forward slash talk and get in touch otherwise like subscribe comment let me know in the comments below what you think and hope you enjoy this short video and i'll see you soon